Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. I guess it's no secret by now that I uh, regard Mario Bava as an unappreciated genius in his time. Uh, unappreciated by anybody but me, I thought. Uh, that's not the case anymore. People have finally come, thanks to Tim Lucas's mammoth book, uh, to understand uh, the artistry that went behind the lurid titles that Mario Bava uh, indulged in. Um, but Bob almost got me killed several times because the only way you could see these pictures uh, in New York and, and Philadelphia was to go into the grindhouses in, in, the, in the seediest parts of town. And uh, my friend John Davison was in the audience when uh, somebody was knifed during a screening of Knives of the Avenger on 42nd Street. Uh, and I was uh, in, at the Family Theater, the inaptly named Family Theater in uh, Philadelphia, where um, during a screening of The Whip and the Body, um, uh, some guy tried to rape the woman in front of him. Um, it was a sadomasochistic picture, too, so I, I don't know where his head was at. Uh, but anyway, this one, Planet of the Vampires, uh, was originally uh, titled Terrore nello spazio, which means terror in space. And when American International decided that they wanted to co-produce the pictures they were picking up from Italy, uh, they got involved, and now it's called Planet of the Vampires, although, frankly, Planet of the Zombies is probably a more accurate title. Let's prepare for a landing, Brad. Okay. In a 40G gravity atmosphere, strange thing happens to man's body and mind. So in 1965, I took the L to the Esquire Theater in Philadelphia to catch the AIP double bill of Die, Monster, Die, and Planet of the Vampires, the movie that many people have suggested inspired much of Ridley Scott's Alien, although he claims to have never seen it. It's his loss. Because if you had to point to one movie that encapsulates the spirit of pulp science fiction, this is it. Two spaceships flying in space get a distress signal from another ship. They go down to investigate on a strange planet and discover that the ship has crashed, all the crew members are dead, and there's evidence of a alien race uh, that used to inhabit the planet. If that sounds familiar, it probably sounds like Alien. Well, it's also Planet of the Vampires, which came out long before Alien. A U.S.-Italian-Spanish co-production full of Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian actors, plus U.S. name Barry Sullivan, speaking native tongues of each other. It's been a remarkably influential movie despite its low-budget origins. The dub dialogue runs the gamut from let's get out of here to let's get out of here quick. But like most Baba movies, it's not about the story, it's all about the style. It's simultaneously spooky and eerie and dreamlike and aggressively atmospheric, all for $1.98. To save money, there are no opticals in this movie. Every special effect was ingeniously done in camera with foreground miniatures, mats, and forced perspective. The Demon Planet is basically an empty soundstage full of smoke and colored lights, plus some spaceship ports that look suspiciously like giant condoms, and a tail light from a 1957 Packard, which is pushed into the foreground. Highlights are the slow motion resurrection of the dead crew members ripping out of their plastic burial shrouds, and a visit to the alien spaceship and its huge skeleton pilots. It's a very cool movie and lots of fun. Planet of the Vampires, harboring a form of life worse than death. Planet of the Bloodless, creatures who take men's bodies but attack like vampires.